Good morning guys. In this video, we will see updates on Booster 7, NASA's SLS rocket riding out the storm, and United Launch Alliance's JPSS-2 mission. We have some exciting news from Starbase to report. Last night, an overpressure notice was handed out to the residents of Boca Chica Village for a potential static fire test. Booster 7 and Starship S-24 had gone through a lot of different tests and passed most of them. Now, we are in the final round of testing with the static fire of Booster 7 and wet dress rehearsal are a few of the tests remaining on the list. A possible road closure schedule is posted for today's test. I will post all the latest updates on this channel. Yesterday, a lot of people spotted what looks like a stack of Starlink version 2 satellites at the payload integration building. It's unclear if they are actual satellites or just dummies to test the dispenser system of the Starship. It'll be interesting to see which Starship will launch the first Starlink V2 satellites. Ship 24 is definitely not the candidate for it, as its payload door was already shielded weeks ago. Did NASA take a really big risk by keeping the SLS rocket at the launch pad through the storm? Early weather data from Pad 39B doesn't look good for the rocket. The wind speed reached up to 87 knots on the 120 feet level last night, exceeding the rocket's limit to withstand up to 74.4 knot gusts when it was designed. Post-storm inspection of the vehicle will reveal all the information, but if there is any damage to the rocket I sense a big delay to the Artemis 1 mission, and I even doubt if it will launch this year. What do you guys think? United Launch Alliance successfully launched the JPSS-2 mission early this morning. An Atlas V rocket carrying a weather satellite for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and NASA's Low Earth Orbit Flight Test of an Inflatable Decelerator Experiment lifted off from Space Launch Complex 3 at Vandenberg Space Force Base at 1.49 a.m. PST. The weather satellite was successfully deployed to a sun-synchronous low Earth orbit. And we've had good indication of separation of the JPSS-2 spacecraft. And there you have it. After that, the rocket's upper stage lowered and deployed the LOFTID experiment at a lower altitude in the atmosphere to carry out the experiment. According to ULA's website, this experiment demonstrates how an inflatable aeroshell, or heat shield, could deliver heavy payloads safely through the atmosphere to the surface of Earth and potentially other planets. Well, that is it for this morning. Let's keep an eye on Starbase for the booster static fire. Thank you for watching.